represent the, mm -hmm. the basic variational uh, estimate. So, so this theorem is due to Fabrice Wood 1 and myself. So, so let uh, M be the n dimensional manifold. Remaining manifold uh, with which is uh, bigger than or equal than rho. Rho is uh, a real number. So for any two functions, for uh, uh, any two functions. Let me say for A to C1 functions, uh, A from uh, 0, here P is an uh, 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 arbitrarily fixed number. So from here to here, notice that A takes values into non negative, and uh, that's one, the other one, let me call it gamma, from here to the zeros. One has uh, a times pi prime bigger than or equal than uh, a prime plus two rho a minus four a gamma over n times five plus four a gamma over n times Laplace of PTF minus 2A gamma squared over N PTF. So everything here is computed at a, a given point X. So, uh, so if I substitute this information uh, in here, we conclude that uh, a phi prime is bigger than or equal than uh, a times phi plus 
to uh, a p t or p t minus p f. Or oh, remember, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm assuming here that f is a c zero infinity function, uh, which is non-negative. So p t is, is also non-negative. So when I multiply by p t, I preserve inequality. So I get 2a p t p t minus t f, and then uh, I get uh, <coughs> so I get n is <coughs> and uh, so we get uh, Laplacian of the log of p t minus t f. Squared. Plus two a rho p t. So I'm using this piece now. So I get two uh, two a rho p t this times this. So p t. T minus T F gamma of log of P T minus T F. Okay. So we 
substitute this information in here and uh, let's see what happens. something that is worrying me now and uh, it's the two did I did I lose I lost the two here uh, mm -hmm. so there is a two here and there is another two coming from this so here there is a four mm -hmm. okay So that means that uh, here there is a 4 so I have minus 4 a gamma over n and then I have pt of this times this so I get uh, 1 over so I get pt of 1 over P, P minus P F times gamma of P, P minus P F again notice that here this is phi in disguise because uh, phi 
is equal to uh, pt, uh, p, t minus pf times gamma of log of p t minus pf. And uh, if you observe that gamma of this is gamma of this divided by this squared, so you see that it's exactly this. This is also phi. Okay, so again, this also is phi. And now let's see, uh, if we put everything together, we factor out phi, we get a prime plus 2a rho minus 4a gamma over n, okay, multiplying by phi, and then I have this term here and this term here, so we're finished. Okay, it's a very simple uh, uh, result. Uh, I want to emphasize that this result does not use completeness, does not use uh, anything. It just uses Bochner's identity. Okay? Yeah. Now so you some inequality that was general, generalized by this. Uh, I'm sorry. Does this inequality generalize uh, some another more trivial or I don't know? Uh, generalized to more general situation, you, you're saying? Because the more well, is this uh, uh, some generalization of some previously known? No, I, I don't know. I mean, no, I mean, uh, this uh, is due to the one and myself. It's very simple, so we're good. Okay, now let me show you how. With a clever choice of the function say in gamma in this inequality, one can get lots of mileage out of it. Okay? So <coughs> now let me show you how this uh, theorem immediately implies the Liao inequality. Okay? So I want to give you now a very simple proof of the Liao inequality. Notice that I've not used the lemma, the technical lemma, before yet. I've only used the definition of phi, but um, that's. So now I'm going to be using uh, multiplies 
10 over 2 times rho t divided by alpha plus 1 minus 1 minus 2t over alpha plus 1 uh, dt of laws of pt set. Before I give you the proof of this proposition, let me <coughs> uh, no, so break it okay. here. Let me observe that uh, this proposition already contains the Liao inequality. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, remark. Suppose Ricci is bigger than or equal than zero. Okay. Then rho is equal to zero. So that means that this term is not here. This term is gone. And uh, let me take u to be PTF. U is a positive, f is a non negative function here. So u is a positive solution of the heat equation and so here it's written that the gradient of the logarithm of u squared minus dtu is less than or equal than n alpha squared over 8p alpha minus 1 for every alpha bigger than 1. Okay. Take alpha such that uh, alpha squared over uh, 4 alpha minus 1 equals uh, 1 half. Okay, that will give you the Liao inequality with the n over 2t in the right hand side. Mm -hmm. This is the Liao inequality. Okay? But still it's true for any alpha. Huh? But it still is true for any alpha. It's true for any alpha. But you can show that alpha that produces that is the sharp is one because uh, it's uh, the value that you get on the heat curve. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so let me give you the proof of uh, this. Uh, so, Liao uh, did not consider Ritchikov, arbitrary Ritchikov. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Liao so consider arbitrary so, 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 so absolutely. What I, I emphasized that for, uh, when I presented the result that I was only covering the case of which you bigger than or equal than zero, because it gets more complicated technically, uh, as you can imagine from the calculations already in the case uh, uh, rho equals zero. But they have a result for which you bigger than or equal than rho. And we recovered the, the result too. So, um, so let me show you uh, then uh, the proof of this uh, proposition. So, in 
the proof of that proposition, I'm going to be using so use uh, theorem of all. Uh, so given uh, a plus c one that goes into the uh, non-negative reals, now we choose choose gamma. C1 such that uh, so here what is the enemy? The enemy is this term here. So I'm going to choose gamma that makes this term equal to zero. Gamma depends on a, of course. You know, you give me a and you give me a row. I'm going to choose gamma in such a way that this term is identically equal to zero. So uh, such that so a prime plus two rho a minus four a gamma over n is identically equal to zero. So this means that I have to take gamma to be equal to this. N over four, so you just solve from here. Uh, a prime over a plus two rho. So you give me a, and you give me rho, and I choose gamma like this. Do not worry for the moment about the fact that I'm dividing by a, a could be zero somewhere, but it will be zero somewhere, but it's okay, because a prime will take care of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, <clears throat> well, uh, so if we apply the previous proposition, the previous uh, theorem, with this choice of gamma, then this, this guy is gone. And we are left with uh, a times phi prime bigger than or equal than this. So now I integrate this inequality on uh, an interval 0 capital T. So integrate the inequality. between 0 and capital T, in the left hand side we get A capital T phi capital T, which we know what it is, I mean I have written it at the beginning of uh, previous lecture, minus A as 0 phi as 0, uh, bigger than or equal than 4A gamma over N uh, Laplace of P T minus 2a gamma squared over n uh, pt f. And of course, you know, I've used the curvature assumption to apply this theorem, because in this theorem, this is one of the hypotheses. Mm. Okay? But you integrate it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sorry. Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, I'm integrating in a little t, okay? Capital T is fixed. So this is evaluated at point x. So this is a number. And uh, this is evaluated at point x. This is also a number. So this is equal to Laplacian of PTF. Ah, as I said, you know, I keep omitting the argument x, but it's okay. Times the integral between 0 and capital T of 4a gamma over n minus um, PTF times the integral between 0 and capital T to a gamma squared over n period. Okay? So now I assume I can erase this because I've used it, I can keep it now. Okay? I will use it again for other purposes, so I will write it again later on. But right now I'm not using it anymore. So, it's okay, can I raise?
Just remember that at this point, the only thing that is floating around is A. Because gamma is decided once that I decide what A is. So the only choice that I have not made yet is the choice of A. So at this point, uh, suppose I can suppose I choose a in such a way that a at zero is zero. So if a at zero is zero, then it means that I can remove this term here. And uh, suppose I choose a such that a at capital T is one. So if a at capital T is one. This is 1 and I just have 5 for capital T. Okay? So, <clears throat> let me also, uh, uh, maybe I want it the other way around. Let me see. Just a second. Uh, <coughs> Suppose I can uh, take uh, A in that way, so what do I get here? So then uh, uh, A at capital T is 0, so this is gone. And uh, here, I mean this is 1, so I get minus 5 of 0, bigger than or equal than this stuff here. So remember now, phi, let's see, we have erased it, phi of T was equal to P T T, T minus little t f and then uh, gamma of log of p t minus little t f. So let's see, we need phi at 0. Phi at 0 means the initial value at 0. So phi at 0 gives us uh, p t f gamma of log of p t f. And everything again is evaluated at the point x. So what we get then is, uh, so let's remember this. We get phi at 0, less than or equal. Then uh, uh, let's see. So we get this thing here. So less than or equal than uh, 2 over n. So 2 over n, t, t, f, integral between 0 and t of uh, a gamma squared. So that's the first term. And then uh, we get uh, minus, minus, uh, so 4 over n uh, Laplacian of p, t f times the integral between 0 and t of uh, a times gamma. Okay. So let's bring in uh, this guy. This guy is, uh, well, without doing, replace this with this now and divide by ptf. Remember, f is no negative, so ptf is positive by the strong maximum principle. So we get uh, gamma, I can divide by. So I get gamma of log of ptf uh, less than or equal. Then, <coughs> So I'm dividing by PTF, so this guy gets cancelled. 2 over n integral between 0 and t, a gamma squared, minus 
4 over n plus Lyson of P P F over P P F times the integral between 0 and P of A gamma. Okay, so this is what we get from uh, this. Uh, uh, so I'm assuming that I'm choosing A in such a way that A at 0 is 1, A in T is 0. Okay, so, um, right. <clears throat> now we have to replace our choice of gamma. So gamma is this function here, so let's put it here and here. And let's see what happens. Gamma is fixed, remember, gamma is not free at this point. So we get equal to, so I get 2 over n here, then I get gamma squared, so n squared over 16, then I get the integral between 0 and t, a times a prime over a plus 2 rho squared minus 4 over n Laplacian ptf over ptf times, uh, so I have uh, n over 4 coming from here, so I have the integral between 0 and t, a times a prime over a plus 2 rho. Alright, so we can simplify a few things here, and uh, let's simplify a few things here. So we get n over 8 here, and we get 1 here. Now I can remove this because I've used uh, my choice of gamma depending on A. So this is no longer relevant. It can disappear. Any question about here? Okay, so let me just put here n over 8, so that I don't have to write it one more time. And let me put here 1. Okay, so that's what we have. Gamma of log pt, uh, notice that uh, gamma of log pt is what we have here. Okay, so this guy is okay. So we have estimated it with this, this. Now you may be wondering where is dt of log pt? Remember that uh, Laplacian of pt f is equal to dt of uh, pt f because pt is a solution of the heat. And so therefore here, I have ddt of ptf over ptf, that is ddt of log of pt. Capital T was an arbitrary number. I have not made any special choice of capital T. Okay? So this guy here is, uh, is this guy here. And there will be some extra guy coming from the choice of A now. All right, so um, so I could replace it. I could be replacing this with uh, uh, DDT, or, or if you wish, I mean, use the same not short notation, uh, DDT or log or DDT. And what is plus plus uh, there was let me see was there a plus or a minus here? <laughs> you need to move it to, to the left hand side. No 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 I have not moved anything yet. 
Uh, let me make sure. Uh, so let me make sure we have uh, n over eight here. I think that there was a there was this minus here. There was minus, but it's here. Where it's coming from it? here. It's. Got, I mean, yes. we don't need to do. There is a minus here. It's okay. in the right hand side. Okay. Let's keep. It, let's keep it with a minus, and then we'll let's see what happens. Because I, I haven't shown. Oh, you. I yeah, am not I sure. You have here minus. Oh, 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 I see. So let's see. This goes here. Yeah. And you change the and this side. and this goes with the minus. So it's correct. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you need. Uh, Wait. I have not chosen a yet. I have to choose a and compute the integrals. Okay. Wait. I know it doesn't look promising right now, but uh, I promise that they will. <laughs> okay? So, so I think that uh, this is correct right now. I mean, it comes from here. There was a minus here. So let's just make sure that this minus here is correct. Sign. So I've taken this to the other side and I've taken this to that side so you see I get a minus in front of the integral mm -hmm. and I get a, a plus in front of this integral here so uh, I think it's correct yes. yeah okay so at this uh, at this point, I mean, let's make a further simplification here. Uh, so if we expand this, what do we get? We get uh, the square of this, so we get uh, equal n over 8 times the integral between 0 and t. So we get a prime squared divided by a. Then I get uh, plus the square of this times this. So plus 4 rho squared times a, and then I get plus 4 a prime rho, so plus 4 rho a prime. Minus dt of log of ptf times the integral between 0 and t, so here I get a prime plus <coughs> 2 rho a. So we can uh, still write this term only as minus dt log of pts, which multiplies, so I have uh, minus 1, uh, so plus this. So 
So I switch this sign and let me put plus integral of 1 minus the integral between 0 and t of 2 rho a. Okay? Do we agree? I mean, I've used the fundamental theorem of calculus here. The first integral is <coughs> negative 1. Mm -hmm. So I have negative 1 plus the integral between 0 and t of this. I write as 1 minus 1 minus, and then there is a minus, and it becomes uh, plus. Okay? So no. Rho is a constant, yeah? Rho is a constant. I keep it there. Okay. The other term is here. I simply replace this term. Yes, I understand. There is this plus this now. Oh. I simply removed this term and replace it with there. Okay? At this point, yes. mean, to the zero mean value, yeah. at this point, I have to choose A. Yeah. Okay, so let me choose A. Uh, you can actually uh, solve. Uh, how do you choose A? You solve a little variational problem. Okay. Uh, so the left hand side is fixed. It does not depend on A. Okay. So you want to minimize the right hand side over all A's which have this property D. And uh, if you solve your little variational problem, it turns out that A is very simple looking. Is this one. Okay? So notice this function has uh, the prerequisites that I'm asking. Since alpha is bigger than y is flat, it's clearly a plus c1. And it is uh, 1 in 0 and 0 in capital T. So at this point, I have everything. I have my A. I plug it in here. And you just work out the calculation. Uh, I will not uh, bore you with the details. I mean, this is calculus minus 1. So uh, you plug it in there and just work out the calculation, and it turns out that, uh, well, you know, go ahead. A is a positive function, yeah? Yeah. But the integral is not zero. You don't have to have integral zero. Uh, but you, you will still... I, I, I don't you want it. You actually need... Uh, dt of logarithm multiplied by 1 because it is on the left hand side of... No, no, this is on the right hand side. Oh, okay. In the statement of so, the So, uh, you know, let me show you. Okay. But there is no such uh, term with ptf on the right hand side. There is the last one. This one? Yeah, you 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 have this inequality, yeah? Yeah, I have this inequality. Thank and you write this is just the second term on oh. the left hand side of, All of the statement. Uh -huh. And you will get exactly the left hand side of the statement. No, I will not get exactly the left hand side of the Why? statement. I get uh, the left hand side plus another guy. So, uh, once again, this function uh, minimizes what. Because you if you what you're saying is true, if I had an A with average zero, you have this inequality on the left. No, 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 Vladimir, look, look at this inequality here. I don't have a dt only here, I oh, have it also I here. The statement is much Yeah, more the statement is more involved. 
I have it also there. So you have to put it in, do the calculation, and you will see that you get precisely, I isolate to the left hand side, only this guy here, mm -hmm. because this, the other one, will have a row in front of it. Will have a row in front of it. And so I want to emphasize the case in which rich is bigger than or equal than zero, I can kill this whole term. This is why I write it like this. I forgot. I but in the case in which rich is not bigger than or equal than zero, it's bigger than or equal than rho, rho, any number, you get extra terms and you have to deal with them. Okay? Once again, this function A is a minimizer for this integral. Yeah, yeah, this is a variational integral, one dimensional. Okay. Variational integral, you solve a little uh, Euler Lagrange equation, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, and you see that uh, that's uh, your minimizer. Mm -hmm. But one more, you minimize this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, this so it's, it's done. Mm -hmm. You just have to believe that if you take this function now and you plug it here, and here, mm -hmm. it will produce numbers, and, and, uh, and, and then that's what you get. Mm -hmm. the, the left end, this guy here, will come from this. Mm -hmm. This is why I wrote it like this, just to be able to bring this guy to the left hand side. And then there is this multiplied by this, and that will produce the other term. Okay, but it's very simple, you know. It's uh, just and, uh, let me make just a few concluding remarks. particular when uh, rho is equal to zero so we just get this 
And uh, uh, this just follows, as I said before, uh, root uh, choose alpha such that alpha squared uh, over 4 alpha minus 1 equals 1. Which, I mean, you get the perfect square from here. You get alpha minus 2 squared. Okay, um, so, um, well, uh, I think that at this point I really uh, prefer, since, you know, I didn't do any break, I really prefer to stop here, because now I have to start another theorem, and it's not, uh, it, I'm not going to finish in five minutes. So I stop here and tomorrow I will show you the Harnack inequality.